Mike Austin's secret compound pivot is simple. After a dress and the forward press, a player moves from a balance on two feet to a right foot balance, then to a left foot balance. Two foot balance, right foot, left foot. Perhaps the simplest way to illustrate what a compound pivot is, if I was standing right inside of a clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Now let's put a 10 o'clock right here and a 4 o'clock right here. Simplest way in the world. Look, I'm standing here on a two-foot balance. This foot's at a 9, that foot's at a 3. All I'm going to do is just take my weight, look, and shift it to 4 o'clock. I just shifted off a two-foot balance to a one-foot balance, and I kept my head right in the exact same position. Now from there, you see I'm in this 4 o'clock position right here. Now from there, I'm going to take this right knee and go right at the 10 o'clock position as I pull this knee into extension. Watch what I'm going to do. Boom. And this actually creates a little lateral yeah. pendulum motion with the lower part of the body. This slight pendulum motion of the lower spine is the result of the left knee flexing toward the ball and the right knee extending but never locking. Why my swing looks so fluid is because I don't have an upright spine. My top of my spine stays still in the bottom swings. Everybody has the wrong idea of what their hips do. They try to turn their hips. You turn your hips, your head sways. My hips go I tilt up and down and then turn. It's compound action. Now you see, when you're addressing the ball, the navel is the center of your balance. Right. Now, you're not going to keep the center balance on this center lane. You're going to swing the navel to the right. To the right. Until it, it gets almost over the big toe of your right foot. When properly done, this compound pivot ensures proper weight transfer to the right side on the backswing and to the left side on the forswing. Here's the negative of what we're talking about. Most golfers try to spin around the middle of their body. Now, that would be fine if you were doing it on one foot. But since we've got two feet and we've got to balance it with it, see what's happening is as soon as I set up and if I turn, watch what's going to happen. It brings you immediately out of your angle of address, which creates a whole new measurement to start from. Whereas what we're doing is, see, he's setting it up. We get set up. We get bent. Now what's going to happen is, see, I'm going to move this center right here. And see, I can keep the same angle. Your head never same, moves if you do that. Move because, see, I'm shifting this back to the right. If this doesn't move, this will happen every time. You know, a lot of people talk about the pivot, but a real good way to, to look at a person when they hit a golf ball is just look at their belly button area. And now what I want you to do is, see, I'm standing here on a two-foot balance. But when I go back, see, I'm going to move back. I'm going to move this, my belly button area, about eight inches to the right. And when I come back, see, I'm going to probably move it 16 inches to the left. Any other movement, see, if this stops, think about this. What if you got somebody that's really swaying? All I got to do is take that center of gravity, move it right underneath him, and see, that keeps that head right on the ball. If you got somebody that's coming over the top of the ball like this, what have they done? See, they've stopped this trunk, and they've got this head. They've actually got more energy in their ear than they do the ball. So what do I do? So you take this belly button, you put it out in front of it. Every shot you hit in golf, this should be four to six inches in front of that chin. And that way you'll always be behind it. If this stops, over the top you come every time. To learn the proper feel of the knees and hips during Mike Austin's secret compound pivot, try this rope drill. As you pivot, think right hip to four o'clock, right hip to 10 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 10 o'clock. From address to impact, you never want your hips moving more than this. Your spine is also swinging from 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock. 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock. This drill will ingrain the proper feel for half of your secret compound pivot. Add the shoulder turn, and you'll unlock the power 
of this compound action.